How big are the bugs in Hollow Knight? Hollow Knight immerses the player in the kingdom of Hollow Nest, an incredible and diverse landscape dominated by bugs. While many in-game details hint at the characters being pretty small by human standards, I wanted to use some science from the real world to justify that assumption. We start by discussing the square cube law, a concept in physics dictating that if you increase the size of an object without changing its shape, the ratio of the object's volume to surface area increases. For example, if you double the height of a cube, its volume increases by a factor of 8, while its surface area only by a factor of 4. This relation is particularly important when considering the terminal velocity of falling objects, since the force of drag is proportional to an object's cross-sectional area, while the force of gravity is proportional to an object's volume by its density. This means that smaller things typically have low terminal velocities that they quickly reach when falling. For instance, a cockroach may attain a terminal velocity of about 10 miles per hour after only 3 seconds of falling, while a person can reach velocities of over 100 miles per hour in something like 10 seconds. The lower terminal velocity of small organisms like bugs lets them survive falls from even very large heights with little to no injury. Now consider Hollow Knight. If we track this platform moving up the screen as our character falls, we can plot its position as a function of time and figure out when he reaches terminal velocity. This turns out to take a very brief 0.4 seconds, and even falling from huge heights, our character never takes any fall damage. So, I think we can confidently say that we've got a rather short king on our hands. Let me know if you have any other video game questions you want to address with science, now that we've figured out the answer to.